Back at the impasse before I take three bikes for donation, the 3.0, the 1.0 as I call it, just labeled impasse, and this we're going to take a look at. Now this is the impasse 2.0. I know that because it says it right there, 2.0. Again, some familiar stuff, just like we saw on the 1.0. But this one does have that glossy frame. The gloss just makes it look so much better. I, you know, I like my mat on my ledge, but this looks really, really good, especially you get there, and it just looks so beefy. But it is the same bike, just component differences. And the way they do this, the Impasse 1.0 has a certain set of components that look a lot like maybe a ledge. There's the first impasse and then the three which is the top of the line and sitting in the middle is this 2.0 impasse. Top to bottom just a quick look before it's donated. It does have the oversized bars and these about as wide as the 3.0 wider than the impasse 1.0. The stem looks more like the 3.0 than the 2.0. There's that famous tapered head tube and these are clear coated over on this. They were stickers on the 3.0, but they're clear coated. The graphics on this gray and black, it looks really, really good. Moving down to the fork, another element fork, but this one is glossy painted. It just looks more robust. It has dual preload adjusters, so you can kind of see the step up from 1.0 to 2.0. A nicer fork does have a quick release at the front. These are double wall alloy rims on all of the bikes. I believe it's the same rims. These tires, they're unbranded. They're 29 by 2.25. A quick look at these mechanical disc brakes, more beefy than what is on the Impasse 1.0. That's a 180 millimeter rotor, 160 at the back. Those little small details step up from the Impasse 1.0 to the Impasse 2.0. Drivetrain see if this gets any upgrades it does have the same chain ring as all the others but if we get to the back and even some packaging that i haven't removed yet this is different an l28 speed look at that with a clutch now that's a very obvious clutch switch i'm gonna have to count the teeth on this and put it on your screen but it's more like the 3.0 but not quite the range again. I'll put the tooth count on your screen, but the L2 brand, I've talked about that extensively here on the channel. Some good, some bad, but this one I'm not familiar with. I do like that though. Very obvious on off when that clutch is supposed to be working. And of course, the same seal bearings, the same shock that we're used to seeing. Decent suspension system. Seat post, now here we go. That's a saddle I have seen before. So getting to a mongoose saddle that I know. Pretty long seat post. And this is dropper ready, like all the mongoose ledge and impasse bikes. A good frame. I sunk over $3,000 into one of these frames and made an amazing bike. So it's interesting to see mongoose doing some of it for you. You can have a base bike like this impasse 1.0, a step up with the 2.0, or their top dog, the 3.0. Price varies accordingly. You know, some of them I consider more budget friendly than others, even in how they're spec'd. That's a good trio. And that's the Impasse 2.0, or a quick look at the 2.0. Comment with what you think. Have a great day.